Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So I have finally got myself an autofocuser. Woohoo! Uh, this one's from ZWO and there's a very good reason why I bought this particular brand. Uh, more on that in a bit. Uh, yeah, let's face facts. When I move from DSLR camera to dedicated Astro Cam, uh, the focus routine is slightly different, a little awkward. And hopefully this is going to make things easier and faster. So in this video I'm going to take you through the focus here, what's in the box, etc. I'm going to show you how to attach it to one of my scopes, which is the Zenith Star 61 here. And at the end I'm going to show you how to sort the backlash out on it um, via Nina, which is the software I use. So without any further delay, let's crack on. start off with uh, talk a little bit about this so why this particular what folks uh, well it made sense for me personally I've just recently bought the ESA uh, plus and if you weren't already aware you're locked into their ecosystem it's no drama I can I can use it on other platforms I haven't gone out my way to buy an extra focus there because I didn't own one uh, previous so yeah that's all reason behind that the uh, older versions had a power outlet on this side I believe this hasn't uh, so I'm assuming all the power you need is going via the uh, USB 2 um, connection here and you get the lead with the kit everything to fit this uh, bracket system on the scope uh, is including the box you don't need any extras I imagine other scopes with the similar sort of setup rack and pinion similar size um, there's not going to be much different bigger scopes and uh, other brands and that they might, might need uh, other types of brackets I know the red cat 51 needs a different type of uh, system um, to use this um, which I have actually recently purchased so I'm going to be doing a video on that at some point but you know, that's another story so what else we've got well we've got two Allen key type wrenches that we're going to use uh, there's some bolts um, I'm going to be using these ones I think they're the smallest ones with the washers uh, obviously be careful when you're putting uh, screws in uh, and that uh, you want to make sure you're using the right ones you don't want to be sort of damaging the uh, thread holes obviously the bracket comes with it and last but not least we've got these flexible couplings uh, four different sizes, one size they've got five millimeter holes and that's to fit on the forks here on the other side you have four, uh, five, six and seven mil we're going to use the six mil so don't need them to need a large one, not them I'm just left with one there so that's what we're going to be using okay so let's uh, crack on, let's get this fitted just to point out, first of all, there's uh, two holes here. Um, I don't know if it's what it's going to be like on other scopes, but there was a good screw in each one of these, and this is where I'm going to be securing the bracket on and tiny things. As you can see, I'll just put them on one side, but yeah, that just thought I'd make you aware that I had to do that. First thing first, I'm going to get this focus wheel off, not the one with the fine. Uh, tune on. The way to do that, it's secured on with two grip screws and all you got to do is just turn the wheel until you locate on the grip screws. Just undo that. That's one. And then you don't have to do them all the way out, you just uh, turn the wheel until you find the other one. And do the same. Undo that. And you probably see it's just wiggled off there. There you go. So put that to one side. What we're now going to do is we're going to get the flexible coupling and fix that on. And it's basically the reverse of what we did with the took the wheel off. So make sure you've got the right hole. Place it on. Line it up with the hole with the grub screw and just nip it up a little. So there's one. Turn that to find the other one. To the other one. There we go. Sure it's on, yep. So next up we're gonna get the bracket on. Just uh it's quite a snug fit to be fair. And just line them up there and get one of the um bolts with the washers that I got earlier. I'm just gonna hand tight 
one of them on. There we go, so that's one on. There's the second. I'm just going to nip them up. Don't want to go too tight. There we go. Make sure that's flush. Yeah, that we are. Alright, now for the focus. So I'm just going to put that over. I'm just going to locate that one. Put the this end into the hole there. It should just slip on. And make sure it's flush with this. And I'm just going to put the uh, bolts that were already in it. I'm going to put them back in now. Secure them on. Just point to note the. Uh, Grub screws that are on the flexible couplings. I've uh, I sort of loosened them off uh, prior just to make sure they didn't get snagged when I was putting everything on. Mm. Like I did before, just nip that up. So, uh, so that's on. So, the last thing we need to do is tighten up the grub screws that are on the focus here. So, this can be a little awkward, but them up and do the other one. There we go. That's uh, some under there, and there's one in there. And now I've locked them off. There's very little play now. Um, the focus has locked that all off. So now that is on, all we've got to do now is uh, hook it up fire Nina up and uh, get this backlash sorted. Before I jump into Nina, I just want to explain what backlash is and why we're doing it, just for the benefit of anyone who, who would like to know. So when I go to move my focuser in one direction and it stops, Basically, backlash is the number of steps it's going to take to, or clicks, but you'll see in a minute, uh, for it to start moving in the opposite direction. And basically, what we're doing is we're just going to uh, sort of compensate for that um, in Nina. So, here we are. So, the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to go up to equipment, down the focuser, and it's going to bring uh, uh, this screen up. So, this is already up as the focus of one. If it isn't, if it's got no focus in there, you just go to the drop down menu, come down on that, or or you could refresh and it, it might pick it up. Anyway, once it's done that, I'm gonna connect the camera out just to make sure it is talking. So let's have a go at this. Yeah, so it's talking. Happy days. Right, so what I'm going to do is just going to to the options tab here on the left hand side. You go up to the equipment tab and come down to focuser. So there's two things going to be looking at here. The drop down menu here, and it's set to absolute at the moment. We want to change that, but we can't do that while the camera's connected. And also, um, you're going to be looking at the autofocus step size. So let's jump back to the equipment, jump back to this menu. I'm just going to disconnect the camera. Once that's done, I'm just going to jump straight back to the options menu. Come down, as you see, to free that up. So I'm going to pick overshoot. And I'm going to change this to uh, the step size to 20. Uh, you no, you don't have to set it to 20, you can keep it to 10 if you like. Oh, I, I was doing some research on this and 20 seems to be a good number to gauge the backlash. So once I've done that, go back, reconnect the camera. Alright, so now what I want to do is, uh, in this tab here, I want to move it. So I'm going to change that from... Uh, it's just short of 35,000. Um, I'm going to put that at 33,000. And I'm just going to press move. And that should bring it in. Yeah, there it is. You can see it's moving. Okay, so now it's stopped. What I'm now going to be doing is 
this button here I'm gonna bring it back out but each click equals 10 so this is what we're gonna remember and while we're clicking this we just got to keep a close eye on the focuser um, and once it moves that's the number we're gonna want so there's one two moved on three so we can always do this again but uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the options tab so, so it was three three times ten is thirty so it doesn't apparently it doesn't matter which one you put this in whether it's in or out I'm going to go without I can just put in thirty it's a few people who use center stars uh, 61s the uh, using the step size is 40 seems good uh, good number I'm gonna show you this and I'll show you a, a low number as well just so you can see the difference it, it is a lot sharper when you go up and lower so let's go back there up here and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do that and as you see it's quite smooth and it's, it's working all right so I'll go back here I'll just just show you what the score is here I'll put in 10 and as you can see it is a lot sharper it's down to personal preference in the day you, you know I mean, you just see what um, suits you best you know you can always change it um, but I'm going to stick with 40 for now so one other thing to point out uh, you can put in focus offset for filters uh, I'm not going to do that in this video um, so you've got like a filter wheel you can um, set all them at uh, different focus points uh, I like to set offsets if you so wish to that just about wraps things up so if you've got any questions about any of this please feel free to ask away in the comments section I'll try my very best to answer them to the best of my ability and likewise if uh, anyone's not sat maybe missed something or they could add to this uh, again please uh, fire away in the comments it's only going to help myself and others for the future so if this has helped please consider giving it a thumbs up it's just going to help me to sort of gauge uh, you know for future content anyway um, and what I'm doing is you know, is actually making a difference and also please consider subscribing to the channel that would be awesome so on that note please take care everyone clear skies and bye for now